Good evening, folks. It is game number three, the deciding game between Hope and Elazer. The series is tied 1-1. This is WCS qualifier action, I believe out of the EU. I don't know for sure. ZVZ, back and forth games. Game one, straight up macro game. Hope was able to take it with great muta and upgrades. Elazer in the second game went for a speedling, baneling all in, and he just managed to tip the tides. I think control-wise, Hope could have done a little bit better there. He did have times where he was in the lead that game, but obviously with speed and you know just good baneling numbers, a laser was able to do that. We even saw in game one he seemed to have better ground control of his army. We'll see if that factors into this game as well. This is one of the maps I believe that I vetoed from my ladder action. Nothing too silly about it. I think this is based off of an RSL map. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Very, very familiar to that. That's really kind of cool because you got these, you know, naturals that are a little bit patrolled. It's very, very similar to that RSL map. If somebody knows what I'm talking about, you know, give me a thumbs up just for being able to talk about it. But in this game, we see that it, once again, it's a bit of a wider opening. And I don't know if that's a bit of a trend for maps this season of ladder to have a little bit easier access into naturals. I mean, that obviously gives advantages to Zerg players to try to break through things. Maybe discourages super, super fast eco play. But it also makes ZVZ games a little bit funkier as well, because it's harder to wall up and tech up. Hope is going back to a pool first strategy here. Same thing he did in game number one. Whereas Elazer is going to be going into a hatch first before a pool. And we'll see what the funk is coming out of this. Whether or not we're going to have a really ground-based style game. Or if these guys want to go to Mutas. From what I've seen of Hope, it really depends on what he's going up against. He does like to get his Mutas out. Does let you control the map so well and dictate the pace. But the difficulty is, is that you can get Roaches generally out sooner. So if you do have good timings and good macro, sometimes you can use that. We haven't seen a single Roach. It's a weird ZVZ where you don't see a single Roach in any of the play. Hope will come in here and see this hatch timing. Should tell him that it is pool first. We actually, I was about to say, where the hell is this pool? It's down here. I was playing a ladder game just the other day against a Zerg player. And I went for my standard, you know, Hellion, Reaper, opening kind of play. And just as I'm putting all this pressure and killing a bunch of stuff, and he's trying to wall off and defend with Queens, uh, I was like, yeah, I kind of forgot about my pool. He got it out at like 20 supply or something, he had no units ready or defenses by the time I came to just attack him. So it's kind of one-sided. A little unfortunate when that happens. I don't think I've seen that from a pro player. It's something that basic in a long time, but I, I always find that kind of funny. Inject, and then a lonely walk to the natural for the queen, and the other queen is on the way. Speed is started up earlier for our yellow Zerg player. Hope should be not far behind that. There we go. And he's going to continue mining gas, so i got to assume a Baneling Nest is not far behind. few Zerglings out here just to control the front. These Overlords in a little bit of a risky spot. It's not that hard to kind of come up with one of your Overlords and a Queen or two. Spread one Creep Tumor and take that out. Queens move faster even off Creep than Overlords do. And losing Overlords just sucks in the early game as a Zerg player. Baneling Nest and Baneling Nest. Slightly faster tech out of a laser kind of the opportunity you get when you go for that hatch first and kind of get that economy moving quicker. Alrighty. There are four lings out right now for a laser, but with the queen down here and these lings, it's not really going to be able to get anything done. Six lings now, a bunch of lings coming out from a laser. He might feel threatened by these lings that are in place. He's going to start moving his overlords. Oh, and this might be for an attack actually. Speed's just finishing up. Baneling Nest is just finishing up. This could be a great timing. We actually have a Spine Crawler down on this side. I might be using this as a bit of a, a natural wall. Get an Evo Chamber on this side or something with a Queen. Might be in a really good position to be able to defend that. Defensive Banelings, just the two. Defensive Banelings at home, four. And a bunch of Speedlings running across the map. We have seen a Laser's really good unit control here. We'll see if he can dodge the Bane Links. Maybe pick off a Queen. Oh, detonate. Pretty good hit on that one Bane Link. It's very difficult to select your Bane Links and then just have that X key ready to go. Because if you 
are really good at that and you can just click on one baneling and explode it you can you obviously kill entire armies really fast if you are really really slick with that that's a really really fast layer on this side <coughs> excuse me choking on my own spit yeah so a very very fast layer did he get the queen? He actually did get the queen. That's a nice little pick off. Gonna have to start making another one. That'll cost him a little bit of injects. But his gas and his lair is already finished. So his spire should be done a lot faster. And he killed all the banelings. This could be a really good opportunity right now. The your drones are gonna fight. We'll see how many get picked off here. I don't think he got that many kills with those Zerglings there. He kind of ran them into the meat grinder. Only four workers killed total. Did kill a queen. It might have been more effective even to go after the queen in the main than just run into the mineral line there and hope for the best. Alrighty. Spine Crawler's inching forward. Third base is down sooner, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold on to it at all. There's nothing in position right now for Hope to be able to deal with this. He'll even lose that Zergling as well. One Spine out there. Getting a little bit of damage in. That would been a pretty sick little pick off if he can do just enough DPS quick enough to pick that. Spire is actually further ahead for Hope now and all of that microing he had to do. He actually lost, I'm not going to say he lost his tech advantage. If we look at the gas, he's got a big lead in gas. We'll see if both of these guys recognize that they need to get out a ton of overlords before their spire bursts. Looks like these should be timing just bef as that spire finishes. So he should be able to have that supply window. Bunch of banelings coming in over here. We'll see if he manages to get the right kind of hits. Lots and lots of zerglings coming out. But there's still that big bank of, of gas, but not much for minerals. He invested in a lot, a lot of extra um, zerglings here for these attacks. Nice focus fire down on that one banding by the queen there. Six meters in production. Once those meters are out, he should be able to control his base well enough. I'm surprised he hasn't moved his overlords out just a little bit further to be able to scout for these things. Looks like he's actually running them home. Not certain if he's going to be able to defend them against any type of uh, mutilisk play. Mutas are out now. Gonna do a damage to the cannon. Might be able to get this queen down. It's a nice little pick off to get the queen. He's already started on another one. I believe Yellow does have some overlords around here worth getting. Alright. So, muta wise. They're going to be about even. Upgrades are fairly close. A laser is supply blocked right now. And that's going to hurt him. He's going to be supply blocked for a while. He's got to watch his overlords. Why are you sending them out? Well, I know you want the vision, but... It's, uh, they're risky. Getting a bit of damage in there, but Mutalisks obviously just regenerate health. Might almost got himself another queen. So we got about 15 here, 15 there with a little bit of damage. Got to get his ball together there just to make sure he's got the right kind of DPS. Spore crawlers, the bane of all melisks. This base down here, there's a lot of zerglings in place. Oh, nice snipe on one of the mutas. They're going to go into a bit of a trade here. There's an advantage for a laser, but you can see he's down significantly in supply. So he's going to try to snipe down. Yeah, it will go down as well. Very nice pickoff. He's going to have himself more gas. He's got now on six gases. 
as well as having more larvae, queens injecting on three hatches. So we're just going to be able to see a skyrocketing here out of hope. Lots of extra supply cap available and bringing in a lot of gas income. This is really tough right now. It would almost be kind of funky to see some overlords maybe poop creep and move a spy, uh, just one of your spores or two out here just to try and keep yourself a little bit more alive. Almost got himself another queen. It's attacking the gas. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. I mean, it's good to deny the gas, but that's pretty cheap. Lots of overlords moving across the map over here. I've got to assume that's a mistake. It obviously gives you a little bit of extra vision. This could be deadly. He's going to put a spine down over here. Unfortunately, not going to be able to scout in time. I think there's way more mutas in here. Look at, look at the unit count. Yeah, there's way more mutas for Hope right now. Even if he doesn't take this fight super, super effectively, uh, yeah, he's just going to be able to win it right there. I don't know if those uh, Bane Links came in and did any damage. Pretty good game out of Hope there. I think that he managed to just... A big difference was keeping his third base alive versus killing his opponents. So I'm pretty happy with that. Psycho Starcraft, hope you guys enjoyed that series. And we will talk with you another time.